Looking to choke out Swan in the middle of the ring. There's Rich Swan gonna tap out. This Nick Nemeth going to slam anniversary. Swan trying to counter here, trying to roll through, trying to break the grip of Nick Nemeth here. But Swan, Swan gets himself to the top rope. Oh, and a back elbow there, breaking up the submission attempt. Went for the danger zone. Swan held onto the rope. Big oh. kick right to the head. Right upside the dome, courtesy of Swanee. Cover, hook the leg out and kick out again by Nemeth. Both these guys are known the world over for their resilience, for their ability, as you said, to just keep going, to pull it out in the deep water. And all the while, the TNA World Champion Moose has been watching as this unfolds. And now Rich Swan is lining up Nick Nemeth. Could be looking for the finishing blow here. Oh, went for the Ooh. splash. Oh, and it's blocked by Nemeth. Shoulders down. Oh, what a kick out. Smart counter from Nemeth, oh. but Swan right back to his feet. Big spin kick there. Now, go for the handspring. Cutter, center of the ring. Got him. Could this be it? To go to slam anniversary. Nemeth is still in the fight. Digging down deep to stay alive in this fight. That proves how much the simple opportunity, the simple shot at the world title means to both these guys. A chance to compete for the richest prize in TNA as we celebrate oh, our 20th Slammiversary. Oh! Come on! Hit me! Oh. And Nemeth inviting the barrage here, and Swan answering. Oh, Swan and Nemeth. Oh, and a straight headbutt! Ooh! Oh, Nemeth tried to hold on. Super kick by Nemeth! Super kick by Swan! The back and forth is not stopping here. Another super kick! Yeah. Oh, and the DDT! Swan, how the hell is he on his feet? I think he got bounced right to it. Danger zone! Swan was bounced to his feet, caught the danger zone, is that it? Nemeth has earned another shot at the TNA World Title! You got yourself a match. But first, I want to introduce the most beautiful woman in professional wrestling history, escorted by private security. Please welcome Ash by elegance. The bravery, the fortitude, and the personal concierge. Oh, I'm glad he was in traction. To, to come out here despite the horrific injuries at the hands of our esteemed knockout squirrel champion. A unfortunate but necessary precaution here for one Ash by Elegance, considering the chaos we had in the ring match. Which was created oh, by Ash by Elegance and the concierge. Now, Jordan Grace, you're right. There is going to be a match, but you should have got your lawyers, which you can't afford, to read the fine print. We spoke to our lawyers, they read the fine print. And this match is gonna take place, but not tonight, and not in this hellhole, Chicago! Instead, it's gonna happen at Slammiversary. And because this contract has already been signed, Miss Ash by Elegance is gonna take a much needed extensive vacation for some r and &R in the Bahamas! Well deserved. What? Well deserved. She's taking time off. So, for our personal safety, we brought this security to escort you out of here because you're violent, you're unpredictable, you even stole my watch, you're a thief, and you hurt my neck. I know. Go get her.
her, boys. Go get her. Wait a minute. Go. Are these securities or the security or are they on the attack? If you can afford your own personal oh. security force. Oh. Oh. And Jordan See? Grace going after the private security. They needed it. This is a mad oh. woman. Tormenting the personal security. Oh! Oh, look out. And a juggernaut driver! The Knockouts World Champion is out of control. This is all been instigated by Ash by Elegance. Months of looming over Grace's Knockouts World title reign, and Grace has lost it. Going after the security, Santina Morello trying to calm down Grace. Maybe she'll listen to someone finally. Hey, the show must go. For the first time ever, we know Macklin and Alexander will be joining Moose as a part of the field for the six way elimination match for the TNA World Championship. That goes down Saturday, July 20th in Montreal. Over here. And a kick out by Kushida. The picture for Slammiversary coming into focus. The challenge earlier on tonight by the reigning X Division champion, Mustafa Ali, to defend the title against Montreal's own Speedball Mike Bailey. That's official for Slammiversary. And also, the Knockouts World title will be on the line at Slammiversary as Jordan Grace has officially signed the contract and will be defending the title against Ash by Elegance in Montreal. After she takes her much needed and deserved vacation. Oh, oh that's Ash by Elegance. So the juggernaut does not take time off in pro wrestling. She might pay for it, but right now, oh, it's oh. Angel paying for his hubris. Kushida catching the right arm. Oh! oh. Trying to separate that shoulder. Nasty way, almost snapping the arm of Alan Angels out here on the, out on the floor. Tosses Angels back inside the ring. Kushida, one of the most gifted wrestlers we've ever had here in TNA. You know he's going to be thinking about trying to lock in that hoverboard lock. Oh, oh, oh he's going he for it. it. Attack that left arm earlier on in the matchup. Now Kushida. Uh-oh, Tanaka punch takes Angels out of the sky. There's the cover. Be. Shoulders down. Oh, wait a minute, right into oh. the hoverboard lock off the kick out. Angels is desperate here. He wants the ropes. Kushida won't let him. Hoverboard lock. Kushida gets the tap out victory. Here's your winner, Kushida. And what a way to fire back into the impact zone here from the times but oh, wait, hold up. Wait a minute, there's Jonathan Gresham attacking Kushida from behind after the match. And Gresham, who's been in the obsession of Kushida ever since he did get ill. We still don't know if he's found any answers, but Gresham about to give some answers of his own. Oh, oh God, now oh, he's wait, trying wait, to wait. pour some of that ink into the mouth of Kushida. God, no! You kid, this is disgusting. Oh, now, look at this, some of our security, mask and glove, trying to restrain Jonathan Gresham, saving Kushida. Maybe just in the nick of time. In my opinion, this is evidence of the threat that Kushida poses to Jonathan Gresham. The fact that Gresham attacked Kushida in this fashion, it tells me Jonathan Gresham is concerned about Kushida finding a cure for Gresham's ink. Those hands, are good. Lord knows where they've been. A nasty death machine. What is in the mind of Sammy Callahan here bringing as he drags Steve Macklin up top? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe trying to get Macklin up for a Cactus Driver 97 off of the top. Eric Young thought about that last week against Josh Alexander. Macklin, though, saw that one coming. And now Macklin himself scales the rope with dangerous intentions for Callahan. What the hell is Macklin thinking about here? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what he's thinking about, Tom. He's thinking about Slammiversary. He's thinking about the TNA World Championship. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Up on the shoulders. 
on the Death Valley driver off of the top turnbuckle. And going for the Cactus Driver 97 once again. Macklin's kicked out twice now. We got to take a look at this again. First, it was this huge Death Valley driver off the second rope and immediately followed by the Cactus Driver 97. But Tom, somehow, Steve Macklin kicked out again. Early on in the match, like I said, it looked like Callahan rushed into the Cactus Driver 97. Maybe that saved Macklin, but after that sequence, we're understanding just how badly Macklin wants a TNA World title shot, how badly he's willing to fight to get to Slammiversary. I mean, we've always known how tough Steve Macklin is, but Callahan is pushing that to the limit. Oh my God, is he calling for another Cactus Driver? Oh. Oh, uh, Macklin, Macklin responding, oh, blistering the chest. Come on. Fighting out here in the proverbial no man's land of the apron. Uh, look at this hammering away on Callahan. Straight headbutts by the death machine. Both these guys incensed here, haven't been able to end this matchup. A shot at a world title match on the line. Oh, yeah, Macklin, another psycho knee, has gone to that multiple times in this fight. Oh! And the KIA draping off of the ropes. Macklin found an opening, and he put down Callahan. How about that? Get whoa, 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 wait a minute, me. wait a minute. Ali's assaulting a fan. Are you, that's no fan. That's a troll, that's a troglodyte. Oh my God, and Ali is assaulting a fan, Ray Wolf. This is crossing a line. That's a man pushed too far. Look, they threw a drink in his face. You play with fire, you get burnt. He's supposed to be the exhibition champion, a leader, a role model, and he's assaulting TNA fans in his hometown? Boy, his shirt is covered in whatever the hell was in that oh car. God, and Ali is TNA. I mean, he is incensed, today. what the hell? Hey! On Speedball Mike Bailey protecting that fan and tackling Ali. There's Trent Seven trying to calm down this situation. This has gotten completely out of hand. Look, Ali has been pushed beyond a limit. All right, Ali rushing past campaign saying, trying to get to Speedball Mike Bailey. Those champs of Speedball earlier on tonight, I think that's what set up Ali. This whole thing is broken down into absolute bedlam. This was Ali's chance to set the record straight and it's been ruined. This has gotten completely out of hand. Campaign Singh trying to control Ali. Wait a minute. Maybe a little sip. Wait, Wait hold on. Ali went around the ring and rushed Bailey. I asked the question myself, Ray Wall, if Ali's been ducking Speedball Mike Bailey, and clearly Speedball's in the head of Mustafa Ali. Who's ducking who? An Division champ just stepped up to Mike Bailey, who's stealing the championship right now. And how is Speedball Mike Bailey? to the X-Division Championship. He's a former X-Division Champion. It's not even his own property. No! no. I am sick of hearing them chant your name. I am sick of them saying that I fear you. You ruined my homecoming, so now I'm gonna ruin yours. I'm laying out the challenge. X Division title, Ali versus Bailey in Montreal at Slammiversary. It's a crazy environment. Oh, wait a minute, Jake, something just mowed down the rascals. 
He's not stopping. Oh. Like a runaway CTA train. You ride the pink line, don't you? Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> Look oh, out! Sit out power bomb by Jake Something on a kick out by Austin. Take another look at this, Tom. The way Ace Austin bounces off this power bomb from Jake Something. And now it's hang made. In comes Cody Teener. Great opportunity, two on one here. What a win this would be. Trying to set up for a double team here. Oh, double super kick by the Rascals. Oh, right to the back of the head. Miguel and Wentz rocking and rolling, and Jake something is still standing, what? however. He absorbed it. And now Trey Miguel looking to go to the air. Great counter. No, 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 no. Oh, dear God. Jake something's got all the Miguel. Oh, now Wentz trying to save his rascal brother. Again, something counters. Oh, and launched Miguel and Wentz. Jake something throwing people like medicine balls what here. What the hell? Jake something has control of Ace Austin and dumped him onto the rascals. An absolute animal is Jake something. Jake something wrecking house tonight in Chicago. Feeds Austin to Cody Teeter. And now it's Chris Bay from the ropes. Oh, trying to slow down Jake something. Now, Ace and Bay here looking to take care of business. Oh, set up for the order of finesse. That was it. Oh, forearm shiver. Jake something's out of the equation. Here you go. Here's the one. The art of finesse. There's the two. The fold. That is the ABC win. Here are your winners, the ABC. Do what it takes. Suplex by Slamovich, middle of the ring, and a kick out by Brookside, who's basically fighting two on one here. I mean, when you sign a match, with any member of this system, you know. Not the Masha Slam, again, I want to be clear, not an official part of the system, but here, as part of the Knockouts World Tag Team Champions, Ooh. has a vested interest from the system. Same goes with uh, Johnny Dango Curtis, JDC, right. who we saw defeat Ryan Nemeth last week. He can earn his own favor as well with the most powerful group in oh. pro wrestling today. Shoulders down by Slim. Look at that smile, but a kick out by Brookside, and the smile is gone. But credit where it is due, Zaya Brookside digging down deep. Been able to withstand this assault from Slamovich. Everything from the outside from Alicia Edwards. But how much more can she take? Slamovich measuring Brookside. Oh, went for a big series of kicks to the head. Oh, big right hand by Brookside. Unable to block Slamovich. Brookside has been dauntless ever since her TNA debut in Ultimate X back in Hard to Kill in January. Ooh. And now turning this matchup on its head here and taking Masha Slamovich for a ride. Well, that down goes Slamovich into the corner opposite side, and the angel of the ring, Zaya Brookside, has an opening. Lining up Slamovich. Boom! Broken wings. Not done yet, though. Rolls through. Boom! Leaps into the neck breaker. And imagine if Zaya Brookside were able to pin one half of the Knockouts World Tag Team Champions, could perhaps put herself into title contention. Let's oh. not put the cart before the horse. Brookside here. Oh, and here it is. There's Alicia Edwards again getting involved. Right in front of the official, and down goes Alicia. See, Alicia earned that one. The look out. Ooh. Oh, but the distraction by Alicia Edwards opened the door for Slamovich. Snow plow. Cover. And Slavish puts away Zaya Brookside.
Here is your winner, Masha Slamovich. Oh, anytime the system's involved, the numbers game is gonna not be in your favor. Slamovich puts away Brookside.